Yo, what is up all my fellow monsters and hunters of share? God's and Killer here. Of course, bringing you guys some more Evolve. And as you can tell from your screen right now, Wasteland Maggie is here. And let's just take a second to talk about her design. Look at her. She looks completely badass. The whole little white face paint she has all over her head. I think those are glowing contacts. She looks completely badass. Definitely has like a Mad Max um filter that's i'm sure that's what they were going for but she's probably one of the best looking character variants that all of them have looked pretty good my name is tech sergeant hank i mean some people may like it i just don't like it as much but her look is pretty it's pretty down good my tip of my hat goes off to turtle rock studios for her design but anyways enough about her design let's talk about what can she actually do on this video guys i'm pretty much going to discuss what she can do and what makes her different than the original maggie so if that sounds interesting to you do stay around and watch the whole video but anyways what can wasteland maggie do now you may have already noticed by watching this video so far but wasteland maggie's machine pistol can actually set the monster or any wildlife she shoots on fire now the catch to this is that her machine pistol only fires in two round bursts and you can shoot the gun 10 times before having to reload so it's not fully automatic like the original uh, maggie but you will be able to set the monster or any wildlife you shoot on fire it's also important to note that the fire damage didn't seem to be that powerful. Now, I, try, I say this because I don't want players going, oh my gosh, Wasteland Maggie already seems overpowered. When I was versus, um, playing against this behemoth, and I had a few moments where I actually soloed this AI behemoth, and it didn't seem like it did a lot of damage. Sure, it you know kind of like the poison, it took a little bit of damage after the shots itself, but it wasn't something like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a huge problem. It didn't take a lot of damage on this behemoth at all. So, monster players, you can sweat less. Wasteland Maggie's fire damage doesn't seem to be overpowered at all. But anyways, let's move on to our next item. Her harpoons. Now, following the same thing that her machine pistol has, this harpoon will set the monster on fire. But the big catch is you only get one. So... You, instead of having three harpoons where you can kind of try to lock the monster down in place or just, you know, hold them down for a couple of seconds to, for hunters to get damage, you're only going to have one. So if anything, it's going to be more for doing damage than it is going to um, be for trapping the monster. So that's something to think about. Rather, if you want to be a tra uh, trapper that can hold down the monster with her harpoons, it'd be annoying or you want to just do a little bit more damage. Now, last but not least, it's probably one of the most awesome things about Wasteland Maggie is, well, Wasteland Daisy. Wasteland Daisy has a damn flamethrower strapped onto her back. Now, this is cool because now Daisy can actually participate in the battle and actually help do damage. Now, it is important to note that because she has a flamethrower, and it's just pretty obvious, but she's going to be more in harm's way. She's going to get in there, do a couple of shots towards the monster and then she's gonna run out so she doesn't just stay in there it's in and out but she is making herself more of a target than the original um daisy would because we know that the original daisy she will kind of stay back try to get a couple of stuff revised off and whatnot but this daisy she's gonna be more in the monster's face or behind them so it's more likely that Daisy will get down. It's also important to note that Daisy's damage with her flamethrower doesn't seem to be a whole lot. That's probably because they wanted to make it balanced, of course, with an AI character. You can have an AI character doing a crap load of damage. Also, Wasteland Daisy can revive your teammates. Now, I say this because there was a rumor going around that Wasteland Daisy wasn't going to be able to revive your teammates, but I did catch her um, reviving a teammate. I believe it was either this match or the last match, so she can revive your teammates, so that's something that they didn't take away from her, which is a good thing. So, pretty much, guys, the differences with Wasteland Maggie that makes her different than the original is that her machine pistol fires in two round bursts but can set the monster on fire. She has one of harpoon but can also set the monster on fire and she has Wasteland Daisy which can of course set the monster on fire. You notice the theme here? Wasteland Maggie is pretty much a power maniac. She likes setting things on fire. <laughs> it's her thing. Don't judge her. We all have a little bit of weirdness in us. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a thumbs up. It always does help. And if you're a new viewer, don't hesitate to subscribe for more Evolve. But until next time, you guys take it easy. Laters.